All right, guys, welcome to another session of Sunday Setups. I'm your host, Jacob, today, accompanied by Pastor Pips. How you doing, bro? I'm doing well. You know the vibes, guys. Let's get it. Let's get it, bro. All right, so, yeah, today we're going to be bringing you in the last forecast of April. Um, it's been an eventful month so far, so we're going to bring you a forecast of things that we're looking for to see out the remainder of the month. So before you, we get into it, of course, guys, if you haven't checked out our new and improved website, uh, please do. So if you want to... Um, start your trading journey or been thinking about starting your trading journey um head over to our free course stuff where you can download some um uh, beginner information that you're going to need to get within the industry and then you know if you are serious about upgrading or taking your skill set to a new new level please contact us regarding mentoring packages so we can help you guys out okay um but yeah so check the website out if you haven't please like and subscribe to our youtube channel as well guys if you haven't if you like our content that we uh, provide you guys, please, please, please like and subscribe. So before we get into the charts, of course, we're going to take a look at the economic calendar and see what fundamentals are shutting out the rest of the remainder of the month, excuse me. So Monday, um, we do have some US news in, in um, the afternoon. So I think tomorrow we are going to have a bit of an eye on the market. Um, just, just discussing with uh, Josh regarding that, just to see, you know, some of the, trades that we, we kind of looked at before, they could be uh, lining up for the open start of the week to continue down. So let's see. Uh, but yeah, nonetheless, we do have some high impact US news. Okay, so we're going to actually uh, monitor on Monday and see what's going on. Going into Tuesday, we have the interest rate for the yen. Um, it's in the middle of the morning. So obviously come land around pre-London, London session on Tuesday, we can see um, looking about some yen pairs, what's going on with those. Going to Wednesday, we got a CPI for the Aussie. Again, it's in the middle of the night. So just be aware if you are trading any of those pairs, uh, if you can get um, some type of spike throughout the night, you know, just be sure to monitor that your positions are risk-free and things of that nature. So going else, going more into it, we've got uh, 3 p.m. President Lagarde is having a speech and see what she wants to speak about. We also have the Fed interest rate as well. It's at 7 p.m., but nonetheless, we do need to be aware of that. So Wednesday, um, looking great. Thursday, we've got some unemployment coming out of Germany and the euro areas, um, followed by a GDP for the USD, some jobless claims there as well. And then heading into Friday, we have some PMI for China. We also have the unemployment rate for Japan. We have the GDP coming out of the euro countries with Germany and France. We also have Italy. We also have the euro area unemployment rate and the GDP. So very uh, euro orientated to close out the remainder of the month. So we're going to be focusing on those uh, pairs specifically to see if we can actually get um, some things lining up. So no further ado, let me check you guys to the chart. So I'm actually going to start with gold and I'm kind of just going to show you guys what we're expecting uh, gold to actually do. So if we just take a look at the daily picture, OK? Um, what we've been finding here is we, if I just get rid of the charts quick, what we've been finding is we've seen a lot of move to the upside, bouncing off this weekly uh, lip block area, um, and we've actually bounced to the upside. So um, in doing so, we haven't really see, uh, received much of a retracement, and on Friday, we did look like we were getting the beginning of a uh, move to the downside. So the bias, um, temporarily, we are trying to see lower price action so that we can actually become a buyer from uh, prices. Uh, lower moving downwards um, and also just completing a, a pullback a proper pullback in terms of the market structure itself so I think we could definitely get down to the 1750 area um, that's kind of what I'm looking for to see happen just in regards to taking some liquidity filling some imbalance and just coming back to uh, buy areas where they were happy so uh, that'll be the first area I'm watching I am aware of deeper prices as well that price may want to get to so that's kind of what we um, see with the outlook we kind of um, bounced off of this uh, one hour candle here and we kind of pushed down on the Friday so definitely looking for that to continue I would like to see if price can rise towards the 1785 area um, I got an alert just before that, just to see if we can definitely um, continue that movement to the downside. I don't see why not. It's looking very, very good. So that's why Monday we are going to keep our eye on things. So um, this will be thrown in the Discord, of course. If you're not in the Discord, please make sure that you are head over to our website now where you can gain access. Okay, it's a subscription fee 
Um, but there's a lot of value in there. So this will be thrown in there for you guys. Other pair I want to look at is Euro USD. Um, so we were kind of looking at this last week, um, you know, seeing if we could get a move to the downside off of this, right? But the daily has been pushing. Uh, we also kept, kept uh, moving on the weekly as well. So we are um, anticipating a short on this, uh, from this uh, area somewhere. So we've got some imbalance to be filled. And we are going back to uh, the last daily candle, which sparked this movement to the downside. Okay, so very, very uh, hands on with this uh, at the moment, excuse me, just to see if we can get, a, we think there's a big short coming. Okay, so we are definitely looking to see what price does as and around it is near the one to one um, institutional level as well. So looking to maybe see price push up. Um, a bit higher just to monitor what it wants to do inside of this candle okay and then we are looking for shorts on this um, which will be very very lucrative so we're going to see with the euro news coming out with the fundamentals and the usd this week uh predominantly most of the news events are coming from those countries so uh eyes will be on this chart um as we you know we are trying to anticipate that short coming we don't see why we was even looking this week to see if we could get it, but we kind of just got a bit of a, a, a pullback consolidation to then boost higher. So hopefully um, the short is coming. So that would definitely be getting monitored imminently as soon as the market's open and just to see what is going on. So those are the two pairs that I'm going to show you guys for today. Again, these will all be thrown in the Discord. Um, and then as and when the others are lining themselves up, uh, in areas of interest, they all, all of those shots will be thrown in the Discord. So, again, guys, you know, if you're not in there and you are serious about just being within a community or a network, please check out the website. Josh, I'm going to hand it over to you, my bro. Thank you, bro. So, my first pair for you guys is going to be on ADJPY. Now, as for ADJPY, I am expecting, okay, a buy off of this pair, uh, potentially. Uh, looking at this four hour buy area that we were able to catch um, some buys out of uh, last week, you know, around, you know, 60 pips, however, price did come back down to entry, which is not a problem. OK, you know, small bag secured, nevertheless, break even for most people. But still, OK, price is still holding within this buy zone. So I was looking at price in terms of the one hour um, time frame. We do have some imbalance that price could definitely go up high and meet. And, you know, what? price is currently forming to um, right now is leading me to believe that we could potentially get a buy. If the buy, you know, it's not as explosive as what I'm expecting, you know, a 70 pip push or even potentially um, over 105 pip push back up to this um, previous highs here on the daily. We still got this outstanding weekly imbalance for price to fill. So there's definitely targets up above uh, to head up to. But yeah, looking at the daily candle, <clears throat> you know, you need to look at things from, from two different perspectives. Of course, you know, would want price to push up, but it's also important for us to understand that prices may actually want to come down deeper into this daily candle before we actually see a move. You know, however, overall in the weekly perspective, we're yet to see a deep enough retracement. So, you know, keep your eyes on both. But as of now, I am um, on the side of a buy. Now, my next pair for you guys is going to be on GBP AED. So GBP AED, um, this chart for the short for GA has been called out in our Discord. And prices really held this eight-hour zone. And we actually seen prices come down uh, a little under uh, 140 pips. Um, realistically, looking for prices to actually come and clear this eight-hour lip block and actually give us a new low. Um, it does have potential to get there. However, you know, a more conservative area to aim for in terms of, you know, um, being able to take profit will definitely be at this AR lip block. Looking a little bit closer at the picture in terms of entry, um, I reckon we can get back down to this four hour sell to then buy uh, for a potential, if not, you know, a, a complete, you know, push to actually wipe out these eyes or at least a pullback on these minor time frames before we actually get prices sliding down lower. When I head back up to the weekly, and in fact, actually the daily, we make it a little bit easier to see. We've definitely got liquidity to the downside for price to take out. We've had price actually um, play out of a higher time frame, a weekly candle, and now we've seen prices react out of it. And, and just from the looks of this, this looks quite quite bearish and quite healthy to at least get down uh, back to this eight hour lip block. But yeah, of course, you know, as I'm looking for buyers on AJ, you know, I'm, I'm on the side of Aussie strength. So, you know, just need to keep an eye on things because things can change. Um, <clears throat> lastly, for you guys, um, is going to be on Euro NZD. Okay. So, Euro NZD has sort of been in limbo, you know, um, some weeks, um, just been chilling around the zone. We've got the push, been chilling around up here and slowly slid down. 
pushed back up and just been playing around. So now that we've actually slipped back down and we started to consolidate again, you know, which is not entirely a, a bad thing. Um, coming down lower, I know it's this two hour lip block where prices did actually, well, price actually gave us a decent reaction for around 60 pips. But it's important for us to notice that there was the liquidity that price has actually taken and the target is, is actually set in stone. You know, this target is quite clear, quite obvious. Um, it's just standing out. If we don't actually get the short up, um, sorry, short down from this um, sell area that I have marked out, you know, to actually take out the lows, um, higher time frame area would be on the four hour to actually have price push up higher, give us a much deeper retracement, you know, fill some of these some proper price action here and to get the short to the downside, you know. Um, you know, in terms of R&R &R and risk to reward ratio, this trade does make a lot of sense. Um, you know, the potential to the downside is oh well over 200 pips. So yeah, um, you know, I'm looking forward to the week ahead. And yeah, guys, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Okay, about 80% of you guys are unsubscribed. If you're enjoying our video, just give it a sub, give it a like and click that bell notification to get notified. It's all for the YouTube algorithms. <laughs> but yeah, with that being said, you know the vibes is lit side. And remember, Every day is, Jacob. Funny day. Yes, sir.